And finally this evening, the South African Rand saw gains in early trading on Friday, driven by positive signs in the domestic economy and a weaker dollar in global markets. The dollar slipped by approximately 0.1% against various currencies, following an unexpected drop in U.S. manufacturing, sparking concern of an economic slowdown. Concurrently, the JSE experienced a decline on Friday morning, mirroring global market weakness amid growing apprehension of a U.S. recession. Fresh economic indicators have revived worries about a potential recession and the likelihood of a delayed interest rate cut by the U.S. Federal Reserve. Portfolio manager Kabila Tuller provides insight on the market's performance. As we come to a close of the week, uh, we unfortunately experienced weakness on the markets. JC has dropped 1.6%, along with all the different sectors are all pointing red, mining, uh, industrials, financials, the likes of your first rand down 1%, the likes of your Angold also down 1.3%. And this was really um, triggered by economic data that we had uh, internationally suggesting that unemployment rate in the U.S. is ticking up, uh, questioning the um, state of that economy over there. Um, contrary though, we also had the RAND strengthening uh, ever so slightly, 6 cents, currently trading at 18 RAND 23 against the dollar, 19 RAND 91 against the euro, and 23.34. Looking at your commodities, Brent is significantly low as well, down at $77 a barrel. So indeed, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult close for the week or a weaker close, um, and we're expecting next week to hopefully uh, bring about some clarity with regards to the trajectory of interest rates and how soon uh, central banks might uh, decide to cut rates or whether indeed they're going to hold back um, some more. But given the weakness in the data that we're seeing in the economies that um, uh, we've, uh, who have reported recently, uh, I think there might be uh, a need for a speedy cut.